In this video, I'm going to go over the bundles feature in QuickBooks Online for creating invoices and estimates. The bundles feature allows you to bundle together multiple products and services so that you can create an estimate or an invoice and it might help you save some time. Right now I'm on the products and services page. This is under the sales menu or you can find this by going to the gear icon products and services. And I'm going to be using the QuickBooks sample company to demonstrate this. Now this is a landscaping company, but for this demonstration, I actually created a bookkeeping category and a bookkeeping income account. And I set up some bookkeeping items to go in this bundle. To set up a product or service, you would go to new and then choose one of these options. In order to create a bundle, you have to have other products and services already set up to put into the bundle. So you could set up inventory items if you need to track quantities, non-inventory items if you don't need to track quantities, or service items if you sell services. So I set up three services for this demonstration. And before I show you how to do the bundle, I'm going to just quickly show you what I already set up. So I set up an accounts payable services item. And I put this in the bookkeeping category. I put a sales price of $5 and that's per vendor bill. And I mapped it to a bookkeeping income account that I created. I also set up a payroll processing services item and all of the details are the same, except this one has a different price. This is $100 per payroll. And then the transaction posting and reconciling, I put a price of $2.50 per transaction. And as a disclaimer, these aren't necessarily my own prices. I just put some random amounts in here for this demonstration. Now what I'm going to do is create the bundle with these items included. I'm going to go to new bundle and I'm going to call this monthly bookkeeping services. I'm not going to put a description because I want to be able to customize the description on the individual estimate. But if you don't need to do that, then you could add a description here. And now I'm going to go ahead and add those products and services that I already created. And then you can see that there's this display bundle components when printing or sending transactions. If you want your customer to see the individual prices, then you would want to check that box. But for this particular demonstration, for this particular thing, I actually don't want to display it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save and close. And now I'm going to create an estimate. So I'm going to go to new estimate. I'm going to choose a random customer. And down here under product service, I'm going to choose that new monthly bookkeeping services bundle that I just created. And you can see that these line items are in gray. These are the individual items and it tells me that these are hidden from the customer. So now I'm going to put in my quantities. So let's assume that this is a customer with around 300 transactions per month or up to 300 transactions per month. Maybe they're in the 250 to 300 range. And then let's say they are a bi-monthly payroll company. So I would put two here to show that they have two payrolls per month. And then for accounts payable services, maybe they have around 15 to 20 vendor bills per month. So I would put in my quantities and it would give me a total of 1,050 up here. And for some reason it added the tax, even though those individual items were non-taxable. Okay, and now I could customize this description if I wanted to. 
just to give the customer a little more detail on what this price consists of or what this price includes. And I might say something like, instead of saying 300 transactions, I might say up to 300 transactions. So that they're not picking it apart and saying, well, this month I only have 295 or this month I only have 250. This says up to 300 or you could even put something like for the range of 251 to 300 transactions or something like that. And then for the payroll, I would maybe put processing by monthly payroll. And then for accounts payable service, I might put up to 20 vendor bills per month. So of course I could get more detailed if I wanted to. I could customize this differently. There's just a lot of different ways to structure this, but this is just to demonstrate one particular way. And hopefully you can apply this concept to whatever your situation is and however you want to structure this. I'm going to go ahead and save this and show you what it looks like to the customer. So I'm going to choose print or download. I'm going to print it. And you can see that this is what the customer sees. They just see the bundle and the description that I just typed in. So this feature will allow you to save a little time if you want to be able to give a quick estimate without giving it a lot of thought. And by having the description here, this gives the customer an idea of the range of transaction levels that they would be at to get this price. So this tells them that if they're suddenly growing and they're having four and five and 600 transactions per month, then their price might change, their monthly price might change. So this is just to give them an idea of what this price includes. I'm gonna go ahead and come out of this and show you what it would look like if I did show the individual items. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back into monthly bookkeeping services and I'm gonna click on this box that says display the bundle components. Okay, I'm gonna go back into the estimate. And I'm gonna to choose to print again. And you can see that now it gives them a little more detail on the pricing. So they know how much the transactions are versus the payroll versus the accounts payable services. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video today. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and thank you for watching.